On June 5, 1917, a young American man by the name of Alvin C. York registered for the U.S. Army. A man born in Tennessee out of a family with 11 siblings and only his mother, he was forced to work from a young age on railroads and logging. Alvin was a very religious man and in no way did he want to go and kill in the war. Upon his register, he did appeal not to fight but help in the civilian war effort, but unfortunately for him, his appeal was denied and he was forced to go to war. Alvin was first drafted out to Fort Gordon in Georgia and his officer, who also had very strong religious belief, could see how Alvin was finding it difficult. He was given a 10 day leave to visit his home and when he returned to Fort Gordon, he was sure that God had chosen him to fight and that he had God's protection. So. Alvin was then shipped out to France and it was along the Daycovey Railroad that his actions would forever be remembered. On October 8, 1917, he and his battalion got the assignment of capturing German machine gun positions and this is where he would earn his Medal of Honor. Alvin and his fellow soldiers fought hard and eventually overtook a German HQ and took out many machine gun positions and not only did they capture ground, but they also captured many German soldiers who were planning an attack. A while after their succession, they started to hear German machine gun fire coming from a nearby ridge. In this fight, six Americans died and three were wounded, so this left Alvin with only seven other men. He told the others to stay and watch the prisoners and wounded while he tried to take out machine gun positions, and as soon as they opened fire on Alvin, he had no time to duck behind a tree or take cover. He began to return fire on the 30 Germans firing at him. After killing many Germans while on the run, six of them started to run at Alvin with fixed bayonets, but unfortunately for Alvin, he had used all of the bullets in his SMLE rifle, but he then took out his M1911 secondary and killed every single German that was after him. The skill required to pull that off is just insane, 6 Germans and 7 bullets. Alvin was most definitely a good shot. A German commander emptied his whole magazine trying to kill York, but not one of his bullets touched him. After seeing how dangerous Alvin York was, the German commander offered his surrender. After that, York and his men took 130 Germans hostage and 28 machine guns. He was then promoted to sergeant and was then awarded the Medal of Honor. When he returned home in 1919, he kept a diary of his daily life and quoted, A higher power than man watched over me and told me what to do. So Alvin York was truly a war hero for, for his country during the war. So now for the in-game loadout. We're going to be using the SMLE Mark III Infantry, the M1911 Secondary, the frag grenade and a combat knife. Now I know this loadout is very simple, but it does prove quite effective at all ranges. Well ladies and gents, there we have it. Alvin York was truly a badass for his country and was most definitely a great war hero. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the